Hello, my beautiful people. Can you believe it? I have tried to do this intro four times already, and I'm still struggling. I I don't know how to introduce myself all of a sudden. So back to basics. My name is Michelle. I'm a cash-based budgeter. I started this journey in January of 2022 in the hopes that I will bring my family into some sort of financial stability. The goal for this year is 22,000 for the year 2022. That is going to be a combination of some savings challenges, some sinking funds and uh, a buffer in our bills account. So this time round, we're actually going to be doing some cash on stuffing of some expenditure that I did during the week. So I'll be taking up money for the first time maybe not the first time, the second time ever, the other time I took out some money from the Easter fund. But this is like a proper unstuffing for me. And I will also be going through this week's paycheck budget, which is only my husband's pay. My husband gets paid weekly and I get paid fortnightly. So if that's something that you'll be interested, please stick around. We'd love to have you here. And if you love the content, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love you to join the family. So let's get started. So um, for the cash on stuffing, I, like, I'm actually kind of sad to take out the money, guys. I, I don't know why. It's like it's there. And I know the, the reason why it's there is because everything has a purpose. But I'm kind of feeling sad also to take the money out. But all this money that I used, believe it or not, was from my groceries and the money that I put towards my splurge cash, the splash cash or the spending cash that I put aside. We didn't actually do anything with that. For some reason, we chose to finish the groceries we already had in our fridge and pantry. So we had a little bit left over. So that is why we were able to use this because right now I don't have it. I don't own a credit card. It's not that I have bad debt and I can't get a credit card. It's just a I'm gl really glad that me and my husband did that. We just chose not to have any credit cards. So we I, we were already on the plus, I guess. The only debt we really have is the mortgage. A car loan that is actually finishing off in September of this year. And silly us got a little carried away with shopping last year um, over Black Friday sales and Christmas. So we do have a little bit in zip pay. So let's get on stuffing. So we need 2015 and another 15 for my son's clothes. As I in previous videos said, I really needed to get some clothes for him for winter. So let's take our $50 from clothes. Maybe I should have been a little more prepared. Sometimes I think I have too many envelopes and sometimes I think I don't have enough. So I need 50. So 20, 30, 40, 50. Wow, it's all gone, guys. <laughs> I think, yep, that is bad. We'll have to update that tracker. So 20, 10s, and 5s. Next, uh, we have dining with cousins. So I do have a dining folder, so that's whenever... We go out with my husband's family, like, you know, this time we only caught up for coffee and cake. Off, um, so that is 30, but guys, I only have 20, so it has to go. Then Easter, I spent 20 in decorations and some Easter eggs. I will have to update that tracker as well. And then play center. So that will be activities. Took my son to the play center over the weekend. He had a lovely time. As most little boys do, I guess. <laughs> and activities. Do I have anything? 
So I spent actually $28, but I only have 20 in here, so that's got to go, guys. Um, now, a birthday gift. We all, one of our cousins, are half off the gift. And it came to $86. What do I have here? So we're going to have to make some change. So... 20s and a 10 so I'll put that 50 there so now do I have so we've got 50 60 70 80 we'll just put that 10 there or I'll put this 10 take two fives and I'll put a five that's all right if one dollar goes from the buffer okay so we've got 50 70 80 85 Sinking funds is taking a hit, guys. All right, and that is it. Now, I do have some expenditure to do later in the week for Easter, but I think I might as well just keep that in here. I won't take it and put it in my wallet. There's no real need for that. So let's put that for aside for now. Put that for now. So let's count. What's here? We've got 50, 100, 20, 40, 60. So 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 240 dollars that was spent. So what I thought I'll do is that rather than saying this is all going to the bank, money was spent so i thought well, let's do what the budget is and then work out how much should go to the bank versus how much should stay with us if that makes sense so if i have to pull out less money from the bank that might be better so we had 240 there didn't we didn't we come to again guys i'm so scattered brain today i actually had a very long day at work today so i am feeling a little flat but i really wanted to get this done because i love having a plan before i pull out the money so one so 100 120 140 160 70 80 90 100 so that's 200 210 220 230 240 so that is 240 Where's the trusty calculator? Okay. Fixed expenses. So bills. As you know, I'm trying to build the bills buffer up a bit. I calculated how much I needed for, so I am completely paid up till there. So I worked out how much I needed till here and I was going to put in $700 to make up for those bills. Fuel, fuel finally is starting to stabilize guys. I don't know if you guys have already started to notice the difference. Um, I certainly did. So this time around, I'm actually going to put $80 in fuel because I just today put a full tank and I did not use up all the money that I put aside for fuel. So that is also working towards the bills buffer because it stays in that account. And then um, the gift, I still got to transfer the money over to the cousin. So that I'm putting there because it's fixed. It's been spent. So that's why I put it in fixed. Uh, fixed expenses but it also tells me that i've got to keep it in the account um so variables for now we've got groceries i want to put in 150 um for groceries i'm we'll see how we go with that and i think i'm going to put some money into spending and i'm going to put 50 and I'm going to put now that was the other thing that I took money out to pay for these things. Um, 
I normally put $40 aside for OptiFast, but I didn't spend it last week. I ended up using it, so I've got to return that money so I can purchase it. I've been really good so far. I haven't had to repurchase it. Um, so what have we got left? So 1290. Um, sorry, let's just first calculate this. 700 plus 80 plus 86. And this part here, it's 150 plus 50 plus 40, 240. And so we've got 1290 minus 866. 424. And then minus 240, 184. Yeah, that's working out perfectly. So guys, we technically have 184 um, left over from that. And we need $240 for grocery spending in OptiFast. Which, guys, guess what? I have that here. That's less money for me to pull out from the bank. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now, debt, guys, I already told you that um, how it's working out for us is that zip pay and our car loan, I've already built it into the bills, and that is why I don't have it here. The reason why I have this section, however, is that should, uh, you know, my husband and I decide to get the new car, which we are planning on but probably not till late in the year and the other big expense that is coming up is my husband is thinking about upgrading his guitar so as much as I want to say we're going to have the cash for it and we're going to pay it outright I also know that we may not have enough savings by the time he needs to get it so we might go on a payment plan have some savings do for a down payment and then work on it to work to pay it off sooner than what the plan says so that's why i've got that section there but for now i don't need it so i got 184 left over which is great um it's something that i have to work with which is great what are the things that are coming up that i could use that money for so i do know that my dog needs grooming so mr t fund if i use 40 dollars and that will make it fully funded so 184 minus 40 144 so that's one that i definitely want to fill um i do all right let's do some savings so i do know i have to do the caro cash so what is it for this week? Caro Cash, uh, week seven is 35. So that one. And then I possibly How about we do this one and we'll put in 30 to 36. So this is the 2K challenge. Seventy-three. We'll do this one. And let's do, you know what? I think I'm going to do a 50 for a change. Do a big number. So this is the emergency. $20. 
2023. Let me have a look. Oh, I do know where I want to put this money. I'm going to put some backing to gifts. So I'm not going to do $3, guys, because I really don't like putting coins in my envelopes. It just makes it too heavy. So I'm actually just going to put 20 And that $3, I might roll over it into my coin jars there so that I can get a zero base budget. So just let's have a look again just to make sure I'm on the right track. So I was left with 184 minus 35. 36, 50, 40, 20. So I'm left with $3. And I might put that into my coin in talents. So this is a rough plan that I want to work with, guys. I will pull out $180 tomorrow from the bank. And then I'll do a small cash stuffing here, which is basically this money here for this, the savings and some of the sinking funds. I know you must be thinking, why don't I just put these back into the sinking funds? But I think it's important to look at what is coming up um, versus just filling the sinking funds for the sake of filling it. Yes, I do want to get to a point where every time I get my salary i'm putting in ten dollars or five dollars in every envelope so that you know it's working towards it but just for now because this is fairly new to me i must look at what my priorities are and then stuff them accordingly so that is why i have based it this way so tomorrow i'll take out the money and we'll do some cash stuffing um Hello everyone, so this is future me from a day later after discovering I made a mistake when I was doing my cash unstuffing. Um, I don't know if any of you picked it up, but when I was taking out the money from my gift envelope, I took out everything in there, which was $130, and I actually only needed to take out $85, but yet nice little old Michelle thought of putting all of it in the cash tray. That's why it looked like I had a lot of money for cash and stuffing. But realistically, I now need to put this back into the gift envelope because that is money I have not spent. And I do need this money for future gifts. So I had to redo the budget. Um, so I actually had one, two, four, five there. Balance brought down to 379. Um, once I've done the groceries and spending money, 139. So I made some changes. So in the sinking funds, I'm not going to be putting anything in gifts because they should be money there originally. And and what I did was bring down the emergency fund that I was going to put in to 28. So that's how I got my zero base budget. Sorry, I made that mistake, but I picked it up. So I was not posting a video that just didn't make any sense. And if any of you picked up how I made that little bit of a mistake while putting the cash in my tray good on you you guys were paying attention now i'm going back to my past self to do the outro thanks guys if you guys have any um suggestions as to how i can improve this i am more than happy for suggestions um i also do want to know if anyone would be interested in this paycheck budget worksheet that i've got if you do like how it looks on the back, it's got the cash denomination categories. Um, I am more than happy to email this to anyone. Don't worry, I'm not charging because obviously I want your input. I believe in sharing the love. So please reach out to me. Uh, um, Instagram would actually be the best place to reach out to me. So direct message me there and uh with your email address and i will actually email you this paycheck budget more than half, i want to share the love so that's why i'm actually offering it out to anyone who might be interested and please do hit the thumbs up button um don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time i upload 
and thank you so much to all those who have joined me on this journey your love means so much to me so till then until the next video i wish all of you lots of love and happiness take care see you on the next one bye guys Thank you.